Hello. I don't suppose you ever spend time reminiscing about the good old days, do you? I mean, you know, the days when you could buy a bag of chips or a pint of milk for sixpence, still get change. <laughs> or when you, a gallon of petrol cost less than 20p. Um, when people were thoughtful and didn't drop litter in the streets. When um, you hardly ever heard anyone swear. Uh, when young people would give you a seat on the bus. <laughs> Do you remember those days? Remember those days when the churches were full <laughs> and everyone was nice? <laughs> you know, I'm sure the people in Jerusalem in Isaiah's day did a fair bit of reminiscing about the good old days. The days of David and Solomon, you know, when their nation was great and rich and powerful and everybody was happy. But by Isaiah's time, their kingdom's power was on the wane and things were no longer as good as they were. People weren't as well off as they used to be. There was a growing threat from Babylon in the east. And if their past was like a green field, their future was more like a desert, a wasteland with nothing to look forward to. And given the way things were, Isaiah's words of prophecy, which is our verses of the week, um, are not what you might expect. Listen to what he says. This is from Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. See, I am doing a new thing. See, see, I am doing a new thing. You know, it's time to open your eyes to what God is doing now. Open your eyes and you'll see he's, he's, um, he's finding a way through the desert. He's making a way through the desert. See that there are streams in the wasteland, streams of living water. You know, I think there's a lesson here for all of us. Especially if you're experiencing a desert time. Desert times can come in all sorts of forms. The desert of loneliness, the desert of uncertainty, the desert of disappointment, the desert of anxiety. Desert times, when all the joy has drained from life. If that's you, maybe God is telling you not to keep looking back to the good old days, not to keep looking back to the past. There's a danger if you do that, you just get stuck. See, I'm doing a new thing, says the Holy One of Israel. And it was a new thing that began with the unlikely birth of a baby in a stable in Bethlehem. The one who grew up to say things like, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. And things like, whoever drinks from my living water will never thirst again. Shall we pray? Loving God, please help us in our desert times to open our eyes, to search for the, the, the streams in the wasteland, streams of living water. And thank you that whatever we are facing, you will always help us find a way through. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good week.